With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. So we are given with a question which says the exit plane separates two media A and B with reflective index indices mu1 and mu2 respectively. A ray of light travels from A to B. Its direction in the two media are given by unit vectors Ra bar that is Ai cap plus Bj cap and position vector of uh, Rb has been given as Rb alpha i cap plus beta j cap respectively where i and j are unit vectors in xy direction then we need to uh, basically check the relation between the two so uh, let's try to understand this by with the help of a given diagram so let's try to draw it over here so as we can see here we have drawn uh, xz plane which is separating two medium uh, a with refractive index mu1 so let's write it as mu1 over here and medium b having a refractive index mu2 all right and as we can see the position vector of ra that is uh, a i cap plus b j cap a is along x axis b is along y axis so this can be uh, seen over here and its resultant will be ra cap ra bar similarly uh, in medium b it is alpha and beta it is denoted with alpha and beta and its uh, resultant that is rb is shown over here so uh, i and j are given as a unit vector so if we uh, wish to calculate uh, the magnitude of ra bar so it can be written as under root of c square a square plus b square all right and its value comes out to be one because uh, i and j caps are given as a unit vector and we know a uh, unit vector has its magnitude as one so this is a magnitude similarly for rb we can calculate for rb bar we can write it can be written as alpha square plus beta square and that is equals to again one so now we can uh, use that is we can let's suppose that this point is our, our uh, o point so if we apply snell's law over here since there is a uh, incidence and refraction both are happening so we can write by snell's law mu1 sin i equals to mu2 sin r all right so from here we can write mu1 can be written as as it is sin i from the diagram we can say it is nothing but opposite upon uh, hypotenuse that is opposite is a and hypotenuse can be written as under root a square plus p square all right so similarly for uh, sin r we can write uh, opposite upon hypotenuse again that is alpha dividing by alpha square plus beta square and since we know alpha uh, this two that is under root a square plus b square and alpha square plus beta square is having a value of one therefore we can say mu1 a is equals to mu2 alpha so this is the uh, correct relation uh, we are getting and this matches with option a so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today